Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. So in my last video I talked about, while well, I showed you some upcoming uh, builds, events, uh, attractions I think is what I called them, but um, I have decided, and I think I already told you guys, that I'm going to build this. This is my next uh, build project and I actually have started on it a little bit. Um, I've done more research than anything, but this is a 148 scale Hasegawa F4J Showtime 100 model kit. Um, now I'm not building Showtime 100, but real quick, I, I am going to give you a little bit of history on this aircraft. Um, this plane was piloted by Randy Duke Cunningham and his radar intercept officer Willie Driscoll uh, on 10 May 1972 over North Vietnam. They shot down three uh, MiG-17 aircraft with this F-4. Um, on the return trip back to the carrier, uh, now I've read two different reports. One of them says they were shot down by another fighter. Uh, one said that they were shot down by a surface-to-air missile. But anyway, this aircraft was destroyed on 10 May 1972. Um, now, I told you in the previous video that I'm not going to build the Showtime 100 aircraft. What I'm going to build is Blue Angels F4J. So I've been doing quite a bit of research uh, over the last week or so about the Blue Angels F4s. And I have found some really interesting information on that. i um, not going to go into all of that right now either. That's going to be another video, but uh, I think you're going to enjoy when I do finally get all that information put together. It's just kind of amazing. Um, and I'm going to touch on a few things as I go through this, but uh, not not much. So anyway, let's keep this moving, okay? So the Hasegawa kit. Now, I wanted to get the Hasegawa Collector's Edition F4J Blue Angels kit. It's a 148 scale limited edition kit that was made. Uh, I, I couldn't find one at, at a reasonable price anyway. Um, or one that was in the United States. Uh, there's a couple of them that are overseas, but I just didn't want to pay for the shipping and all that and, and possibly not be happy with, with what showed up. That's the reason why I decided to buy this kit instead and turn it into a Blue Angels kit. So. Let's kind of talk about this for a moment, uh, the Hasegawa kit. As far as being a Blue Angels airplane, now of course it is an F4J and as I alluded to just a few minutes ago, the F4Js, um, the Blue Angel F4Js were a little bit different than the production version F4Js. And uh, when I say different, I'm just going to show you a few things here in the kit. So let's just take a look at some of this stuff. Um, I'm going to go through the sprues real quick. Uh, of course, these are the wing sections for uh, for this kit. Now, one thing I'm going to have to do is, hopefully you can see this, but right here on the wing, you'll see these little plates. Um, those are actually part of the mid-wing pylon that, that would mount there, that, that would, you know, launch missiles or drop bombs or whatever. But that's that's how they would mount ordnance on the aircraft. They have a pylon that goes there. And those plates are actually part of that pylon. That's not part of the wing. So I got to cut that off for this Blue Angels build. Now, another thing, 
and I've already filled in the holes here in the center, but uh, they have a center line drop tank that they usually fly, and the Blue Angels did fly that every now and again, but they didn't fly it in their demonstrations. So I'm going to build the aircraft as it would be during a demonstration. I got some holes on the outboard wing, uh, again some outboard pylons, I got to fill those holes in. So I'm going to do like I did here in the middle, I've already filled those in. But uh, So a couple of the changes that I'm going to have to do to this just in the very beginning. Like I said, I got to cut those plates off and fill in those holes. Um, but anyway, that's one of the sprues that comes with it. Now, a lot of what you see right here is not going to get used. Um, these exhaust nozzles are incorrect for the Blue Angels airplane. Like I told you, some of the early Blue Angel F4Js were different than the production F4Js. And one of the differences was they had a different engine in them. So I'm not going to put the drop tanks on. Uh, I am, however, going to use these Sparrow missiles. Now these are going to be painted, uh, you know, according to the to the Blue Angels paint job. They did carry fake missiles on, on the aircraft. So those are going to be used. Um, the wheels are going to be used. But the rest of the stuff on this sprue, uh, I'm, I'm not going to use it. So uh, again, next sprue. Now uh, this is another set of wheels um, and I'll have to get into the kit and, and actually figure out uh, these wheels or these wheels. Um, but they are different and again that's one of the changes between the, the F4B which was the previous model and the F4J which was this model. Uh, one of the differences was the tires were different sizes. So like I said I got to get into the kit and figure out which tire it is I'm going to use. The rest of this, hardly, uh, I will use the, the nose gear door here, I will use the uh, cockpit instrument panel, but everything else on this sprue, I, I'm not going to use. So, Alright, another one of those big differences. Um, now Hasegawa builds their, uh, their kits for a lot of, um, <clears throat> a lot of the different Phantom uh, variants. They have the, of course, for the Navy, they had the F4B, the F4J, the F4N, and the F4S. Uh, the N and the S were updated versions of the B and the J. Uh, so anyway, one of the things that has to happen here, and, and this is actually called out in the instruction sheet, which is pretty cool, but you'll notice, uh, hopefully you can see it, right here on the tail, See if I can get a good shot of that. There's a, a formation light, and that's what that little strip is right there. And on the forward fuselage, right here, just after the intakes, there's another formation light. Have to cut those off, because those were only used on the, uh, the N and the S models, if I'm correctly. I know the S model had them, but I think the N and the S model had the formation lights. The J's did not. I know that for a fact. So. I'm going to have to cut those off. I'm going to have to be real careful to make sure that it's nice and smooth and doesn't leave any scarring on the side of the intake or on the side of the fuselage. Now, one of the things that I wasn't real happy with when I opened the kit up is the intake right here. You see that wall? That flat? There's, there's nothing there. there. There's no engine facing. There's no intake trunks or anything. So, um... One of the changes that I'm going to have to make on this model, or that I want to make, is I'm going to get some seamless intakes and I'm going to incorporate them into this model so that you can actually look down the intake and you'll see what looks like the front of the engine instead of just this wall. I mean, come on, this is going to be a Blue Angels airplane. This is going to be really cool and I don't want to have that, which is just, nah, that's not going to work for me. Anyway, um, another change that's going to happen, uh, the F4Js that the Blue Angels flew anyway, you'll see you got the two pitot tubes back here. Well, the, the, uh, the Blue Angels aircraft, from what I could tell out of photos, did not have this lower pitot tube. They only had the upper one. So, um, still working, still doing research, trying to figure that one out, but I'm thinking that that lower pitot tube might get removed. Another thing is for the Blue Angels aircraft, you know when they fly in formation they have the smoke trails? 
Well, they had a smoker system with a pipe that sticks out of the back uh, just below the, uh, the horizontal tail here and it was into the uh, the exhaust stream. I haven't found any real good photos. Now I do have one, I got this photo. But this is the only real good photo I've got of that pipe. And so I'm gonna try to replicate that. I'm looking for some better photos. So if you guys know of where I can find those photos, that would be great. All right, moving on. Okay, this is some of the cockpit uh, seats which I've already started on the seats and uh, they're laying right here on the table. Now this is actually three different pieces that have been glued together. And then you got this little piece here. Right, let's just put those together and I'll show it to you. Now I didn't glue that in there because I wanted it, you know, to be painted. But that's what that's gonna look like. But what I noticed is when I started putting this together, these seats don't have a whole lot of detail on them. Uh, there's no straps or anything. So I'm also going to get a different set of seats to go in here. So what I'm going to get is, hold on while I look at my notes, I'm going to order Wolfpack uh, Mark 7 ejection seats to put into the kit to uh, kind of up the game a little bit, bring the detail up just a little bit. So anyway. All right, so back to this this sprue. Like I said, ejection seat parts. Um, it does come with a couple of aircrew figures. I'm not thinking that I'm going to use those. I might change my mind. I don't know. Um, part of the intakes, uh, which I think these are going to be retained, even though I'm using the seamless intakes. But uh, so anyway, some other cockpit uh, items in there. Some instrument panels, but. Most of that's going to be used. Now, horizontal tails. One thing about these, and it's called out in the instruction, now hopefully you can see this also, right here in the middle of the tail there's like a triangular shape. Hopefully you can see that there. But that's a stiffener. And that stiffener was added to the N and S models. It was not on the J model, so I got to cut that off too and hopefully get a nice clean cut and not uh, ruin any of the other detail that's around it. So, and then the last sprue, these are landing gear doors, speed brakes, and interestingly enough, I actually have landing gear doors for an F4E, which I'm not going to use, um, but that was an Air Force version of the F4. So like I said, Hasegawa has made these kits to cover a wide variety of F4 variants and so you get a, a mix of pieces. Now this is a nice thing that I thought, uh, at least I thought it was a nice thing about this kit. Um, let me see. So talks about it here on this paper. You get a one piece canopy if you want to build the model with the canopy closed. And it just, it makes it a lot easier when you're fitting everything together so all the edges of the canopy line up, they're all straight and you don't have gaps. So they give you a one piece canopy, but they also give you the other, the multi-piece canopy, which you have forward windscreen, front canopy, aft canopy. Um, I'm thinking that I am going to build this model with the canopy closed and the only reason I say that is because the other Blue Angels that are in my Aircraft of the Angels build series so far have had the canopies closed and I think I want to continue with that trend plus it keeps the dust out you know over time dust gets in there and it's really hard to clean out so I'm thinking I'm going to use the closed canopy but like I said that's a really nice feature on this kit is that it gives me the option of uh, having that closed canopy. So, okay, quick review. Um, I know that was real quick, by the way, but that was a quick review of the Hasegawa F4J Phantom uh, Showtime 100 kit. And uh, a couple of the, the drawbacks to the kit, I guess you will. But um, overall, it's a nice kit. I mean, it's got some nice detail in it. But I'm looking to take this thing a, a few steps 
higher than than what they even have in the kit so um, not really bashing the kit although I know kit bash is actually a whole nother term but uh, no I'm not bashing the kit I mean you can actually build a, a nice F4J with this aircraft or with this uh, model kit if you decided to do so so anyway that's what I got for right now um, hopefully my next video I will have uh, some of my parts together and I'll actually start start the build process um, I mean I'll, I'll be doing little things along the way but uh, I'm really waiting on those other parts uh, the the seamless intakes the the new ejection seats and stuff like that so I appreciate you guys watching take care God bless and remember pay attention to the details